So guys, the first thing that we understood is we have a database. Database stores data in the forms of table. Table consists of rows and columns. And rows are also known, known as tuples. Attributes are nothing but columns. And relation is nothing but a table. So guys, in the further session, if sometimes I say that attribute or if I use the word called as tuples, you must be able to reverse the terms and understand it means columns and rows. Perfect. Now, before I jump into the data modeling concept, let me pull up something for you guys. This diagram, this is something we are going to understand right now. And we actually call it as data modeling. As a DBA, you won't be working on this. Generally, the database architects, they work with the clients to design these kind of uh, data modeling diagrams. And these diagrams comes to you, to the DBA, or sometimes the developers who actually create these tables inside the database, right? In the data modeling, the first thing we need to understand is, you can see these all are tables, okay? All these are tables. and a table has furthermore attributes and properties. Let us discuss about, about it. So we have a table. Table consists of rows, columns. And each column will have a data type. Guys, this data type is again a big topic which we'll be looking more in depth in our upcoming sessions, not today but I'll be giving you some idea about data type right now. Let us, I'm not talking about what we call data inside the database. Let us understand from a general, a general uh, perspective. See, when I was saying that we have data that like call logs, messages, emails, so we have so much data. But if you zoom in or maybe look exactly into the data we have actually defined data into different types like character right so if a data has alphabetical characters or alphanumeric characters we define the data as a character and then we can have numbers we have how many likes came to the uh, youtube video so it's a number right and we have date you want to store the date when the last call was made you want to store the date when the video was uploaded on youtube so it's a date data type likewise we have more data types inside oracle and we'll definitely be looking at all those data types later but when you see a data trust me by looking at the data you can identify the type of the data when we say the type of the data that means it has certain properties like for example the number data type will not have characters a number will be something like this but you will never see something like this in a number data right because this is not a number these are characters the same thing happens with characters in the characters um, john mill and we have this name this is the perfect character and also we can definitely have John hyphen mill, right? And now this thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So surprising answer is yes, it can be accepted because character is anything, okay? It's a, just anything. Now we know that it's a number, but in the machine language, when everything is stored onto the hard disk, it's all zero and one, right? Even this name, for us, it looks to be characters, the the name, right? But even this is stored as zeros and ones inside the system, or whenever it is processed, it is processed in zero and one, the machine language. So the same way, this, this number, it sounds as number to us, definitely. Ultimately, it's a character it is identified as a character by the system. Anything on your keyboard, it's a character by default. But there is a big challenge of storing a number as a character. If you store this as a character, you cannot perform 
arithmetic operations onto it for example multiplication division because ultimately when the data is stored in as a character they will i mean this number will be stored as its ascii value so this ascii value will be multiplied by 2 let's take i want to multiply this number by 2 the ascii value will be multiplied by 2 and you will get a wrong result and that's why if you store number inside character you cannot perform arithmetic operations and lot of operations because oracle does not consider it as a number it's a character so in a character you can actually put anything then in a number technically you can only put numbers uh, even if you try to put this thing it will be rejected and in a date you have a date 1st jan 2019 right and then you have a time uh, data type you also have for now just to simplify because we have lot of pressures as well so others now others is nothing but i want to store xml i want to store uh, mp3 i want to store mp4 i want to store a file i want to store a picture uh, and i just want to store anything else that goes into the other other data type coming back to the data now in a table we can store data data is stored in the form of rows data is stored in the form of columns but the data has a type the data has to be categorized in terms of what type of data we have whether it is a character whether it is a number whether it is date whether it is time and others now why do we categorize the data because it helps in the particular type of operations because we have lot of oracle functions that we are going to see in our upcoming sessions the number data type has arithmetic operations right you can add subtract multiply divide you have numeric functions on date you have date functions like you can add 30 days to the date you want to know the week day for the date like 1st jan 2019 what will be the day right so we have some date functions on character we have character functions and we also have further functions that we can use on these type of data